Looks like Ripple isn't going to go with Sheik this time. He was going with her last night, and honestly, it didn't look too good. He left a lot of the work on uh, his partner, D Disciple, whose Lucario was looking so good. He made uh, two big 1v2 comebacks last night. Yeah, well, Ripple is, you know, he's a DK main, so yeah. I'm not surprised that he wasn't looking at his tip top without his main. But <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Uh, chillin' dude, probably um, the best player out of the four. Well, he's the player with the strongest track record, but honestly, uh, watching a lot of the matches last night, Milkman was doing a lot of great work. There were a lot of times when... Um, yeah, I was watching Milkman play warm-ups, and at first he was getting rolled by Chillin, his partner, they were practicing. Yeah. But then he started doing some stuff that was, like, pretty good. But then he also went for some stuff that just doesn't work. So I don't know okay. if it's, I don't know if it's, he doesn't know the game. I don't even know if he plays this game, to be honest. So good question. He was looking pretty good last night. There were times when, honestly, he was the rock on the team. I was, yeah. I was pretty impressed with that. Because I know that uh, D Disciple and Ripple play this. Yeah, and, definitely. And I know that uh, Chillin used to and doesn't anymore. And I also know a lot of the players who entered this tournament were just melee players who realized the, Generally. that the talent pool for Brawl was pretty low, and they're like, what the heck, let's just do it for, yeah. for the lols. I mean, the tournament's, the tournament's called Melee FC. It, it is a melee-centered tournament at yeah, the end of the day. It's not a big surprise, and but it's still uh, pretty entertaining to watch. Yeah. <laughs> All right, it looks like Milkman is going to be going with Falco instead of the Marth he was rolling, rolling with last night. Wow. Oh, wow. That, oh, wait, is this? That was look, weird. It looks like... What? But oh, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, right. Cause that, that's fine. I know. I knew they weren't playing serious, but I don't know why the forward smash went through DK. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I was oh, wondering. I'm uh, pretty sure he's armored when he's cargoing someone. Like, it, you literally can't hit stun him. At least that's what I... At the I, very beginning? Because uh, it looked like he was uh, crack walking when it happened. Yeah, uh, I, the day his percentage yeah. went up still. He still took the damage. Oh, yeah, I know that. I'm just but All right, this is the actual map, right. guys. Button check's over. Oh, okay, there we go. Mil Milkman's playing Marth like it was last night. Yeah, he, that's who, uh, that's the character chilling dude was uh, yeah. scraping pretty oh. hard. And another, <laughs> another reason you'd know the first match wasn't real is that it wasn't on Smashville. Pretty much 90% of last night's matches were here. Yeah, uh, we like to call it Startsville. Startsville. So that's where everyone starts their set. All right. Well, Chill, Chill and Milkman looking pretty strong right now. They've got, oh, they've got no. Ripple. Ripple Rip SD. Pretty. Going for something that it was just not worth it. No, I don't, I don't Spacing know what he, th what he thought he was going to get with that. Well, he was trying to spike the Cypher, but that was a uh, very It was misplaced. way too risky. Very misplaced. And now him and D Disciple are, are boxed in. Oh, yeah, they're the reverse, the reverse situation. Well, Disciple's off stage, but the percentage is going up. The problem is DK can get comboed to Oblivion in teams in Brawl, and his biggest strength in teams is living for a long time, and now he's died twice. The only upside to this at all is that Lucario strat is when one, when, uh, you know, I mean, the downside to this is that Lucario is supposed to have less lives. So uh, they're basically destroying the Anubis strat right now by uh, killing Donkey Kong at low percent. Because now there's no way Lucario is going to get his strength up. Oh, the Anubis strat being uh, getting getting Lucario's percentage way up and just yeah, you know, or having, having him cannon through the you, opponents while you're supposed to ten, you're supposed to stay alive while Lucario goes in. Okay. Because if you die, Lucario also gets uh, strength based on. Uh, All right, the total stocks. Yeah, the total stocks. Yeah. So Lucario goes in while while you stay alive. Okay. Well, it's, the strategy doesn't look to be working too well for them. Disciples... They're not letting him ha do it, basically. Yeah. The Disciples keeping up pretty well as much as he can, but honestly, Ripple isn't, isn't giving him much to work with right now. Oh, oh no. God. <laughs> Milkman. Oh. Milkman with a huge brain fart there. I don't know what was going on. He just took yeah, that force. But, but uh, Ripple just killed the Disciple while that happened, so it yeah. doesn't even matter. This is over. This yeah. match. Well, I don't know. Disciple right. managed Quickest to pull back a couple matches like this. Quickest brawl match of all time, though. That's, that's looking pretty good. <laughs> Quickest brawl match of all time. Honestly, they're going in. Like, they're definitely playing pretty aggressive. I, yeah. I, I kind of like to see that. Um, well, here's the thing. It's it's two sides to it. Uh, it's anyone who knew what they were doing could beat them. Uh, to, like, you know, high, high level play. I'm not totally 
saying they have no skill or anything, but uh, the point is it doesn't really work the way this fighting system works. So like, right. yeah, it's more entertaining to watch, but if you know what, if you know the game and you're watching it, it's not because you see the flaws. You, you see where the holes that yeah. could have been used were. Yeah, and you're like, what, what's right. going on? You know what I mean? All right, but, Ripple's, uh, Ripple's going back to Sheik now the way it did last night. Uh, they, uh, Chillin' and Milkman are in the winner's side, so Ripple and the Disciple have to win two sets. Best three out of five. Well, so, to, be, to be honest, the uh, the problem with the main problem of the last match wasn't the way the Donkey Kong was playing; it was just him killing himself. Like, yeah, if he didn't kill himself. He would have been fine. He didn't. He didn't even get the high percentage once. Like, DK's whole thing is I don't die ever. Yeah. Well, when when he played Cheek last night, when he started doing better, it was because he would sit back, toss a bunch of needles, just try to stay alive for as long as possible. I mean, that's basically what he needs to do in this strat. Yeah. And it's looking a lot more even right now as it is. Chillin' Dude gets tossed into Milkman. Kari tossing the Hadoukens across the screen. Oh, nice work. All right. Yeah, nice they're teamwork there. It's definitely shaping up a lot better this round. Much better start Snake taking a couple of needles there. Oh, he gets trapped in the F tilts. And he just launches the homing missile. Oh, gets yeah. him the last hit of that Nair. It was an accident. He, I think he was uh, trying to pull a grenade. Probably. Uh, pull a grenade and walk back. No, because he was forward tilting him over and over. He was yeah. probably spamming grenades so that he'd blow up and stop the chain. Right. So right. as soon as uh, he got out of it, he accidentally side -beat. Oh, and it's probably dying that way too, so he yeah. ended, ended up with the missiles instead. Uh, Ripple loses his All first right, so This is exactly where Lucario wants to be right now. He can kill really easily, and he has um, high percentage, so his aura is up. Uh, he a disciple. I don't, I don't know. He just launched that Shadow Ball, even though only Ripple was in his way. He might have been hoping Ripple would manage to get away in time. Milkman still living large on that first stock. This is a lot of what was happening last night. Milkman was just surviving for a long time while, while Chillin was just taking a lot of hits. I think D Disciple's afraid to hit his teammate, but uh, he should have thrown that Aura Ball out earlier. Well, there goes D Disciple's first stock, and now they're behind. Though not for much longer if they manage to get this. Now Chillin' Dude saves his partner. Good work. I mean, Ripple needs to be living. Like, he can't die before his partner. That That's very important to their whole strategy, and he, and he is. So... Oh, took that tipper. Good work by Milkman there. This is going to... Uh, yeah. I'm assuming it's going to be 3 out of 5. Yeah, it should, it should be. Oh, there right, goes. See, that Lucario is only at 89%, and it, that killed like that probably because Marth had 3 stocks still. Right. Missed that. Missed that neutral air, but the Disciple just didn't do anything about it. Oh. <laughs> Ripple playing kind of <laughs> like it's melee forward tilt grab. Then he realized. All right, this is pretty much looking like game one. Uh, Ripple isn't careful, he'll probably be dead soon. Still looking pretty good for Milkman and chilling here. Oh, there goes Milkman's stock though. That was good, what uh, G Disciple just did, but he also missed a lot of opportunities to hit uh, chilling back to Ripple when Ripple was hitting him over there. Oh, okay. And they were just doing two 1v1s and they should have been two, two v one -ing. Chilling during the time uh, Milkman was off stage. That's like a lot of how you have to play uh, right. for all you know, teams in general. Yeah, and I can imagine Snake not being a good 2v1 character. When, like, once he gets isolated, I can once, see him struggling once a lot. Once he hits once, he's like, it's 0 to 90 free. Like any team at comp composition should be able to do that. And a lot of team compositions can oh, kill off it. Chillin's out. I took, the, took that full charge Shadow Ball. Yeah, this. Actually, I'm very surprised. They had three stocks. That's that dash attack cancel up smash. I'm very surprised they brought that back, to be honest. It was three stocks and two stocks, and Sheik was at high percent, and somehow they brought it back. But they, they, did, stuff. They, did a lot of, they made a lot of good choices in the clutch moments. They were just a lot of quick fire choices in all the right moments, so it was really good on their part. Yeah. The Edgehog from uh, D Disciple on, Mil on Milkman after Milkman had been like surviving for so long on each and every stock. And then once once Chillin was left alone, it was pretty much done. Looks like um, is Milkman thinking of a character switch. Also, a lot of talk going around. There will be the melee FC 
discussion panel opening up pretty soon. That's pr that's probably going to be the event right before melee single start up again. I think Chillin' Dude is uh, giving Milkman some advice because I I I think uh, he wants him to work with his work with his playstyle a little more. I think uh, Milkman might be surviving because not going in enough. That could be. It happens. It happens sometimes. It's the it's you, like fall, uh, false stock tanking, you know? Well, Brawl is a very defensive game, but you cannot leave your opponent alone when he's getting hit. Like, every time, I mean, this is every Smash game, but every time your teammate's getting hit, you, should, you're, you should hit the person hitting your teammate. Yeah, you yeah, you're, the, you're the fire department. You're, you the, you're there on call the whole time. Yeah, he should be getting damage for the damage he's giving every time in teams. Uh, I don't agree with Milkman throwing him off the stage there. He could have thrown him towards Snake. Snake could have, Snake could have gotten a bigger hit. Yeah. Even a grab release, a humbled grab release forward smash might have been a kill there. If Snake had oh, dropped yeah. down off the platform. Oh, there goes Milkman's first stock again, but chilling up tilts D Disciple for his first stock. And man, just to get that for high percentage Lucario out of there. I also feel like. Uh, Chillin' dude should be C4ing Marth. Could be doing what? Should be C4ing his teammate. Uh, and his teammate. Oh, wow. SD. Ooh. He should be C4ing his teammate and having his teammate go in and attach the C4 to them. Because. Uh, oh. Because uh, I feel like even though. That's actually like a pretty good strategy. Uh, even today. But I feel like it'd be really easy to get away with in this case because. The blue team is playing kind of like sit back, you come at us. So if they're playing sit back, you come at us, you can come at them with anything you want. And then, and then as they get hit, Marth racks up that damage, Snake blows up the C4. And yeah. That, yeah, that's, that's awesome. Well, I guess the I guess that multi jabs in there. That's looking pretty good for D Disciple and Ripple right now. That gets that big forward smash. Milkman got pieced out so fast in this match. Had to take a stock off of chilling, dude. See, this is what I was telling you earlier. Like, yeah, I, Milkman was doing some good stuff, but I really think the chilling dude's the one putting in the work on his team. He's doing the damage, definitely. Oh, Snake taking some forward smashes here. Lucario already a full power now. Oh, but <laughs> chilling dude manages to not let him live on much longer with that. Uh, Ripple's in trouble here. But he gets bailed out by his teammate. 0% uh, Lucario. He's uh -oh. not going to be able to do as much as he'd like to. Oh, the Shadow Ball off the Ledge Hop Fair. Ch Chillin' trying as hard as he can not to let his teammate... Oh, oh my god. Uh, Milkman. Milkman killed himself. Chillin'. <laughs> Looks like... Well, I don't know. He looked over... Not sure if he has any choice words from Milkman about that performance. That was pretty suspect. Chillin dude had this look at like, oh my goodness, the end of that match. Oh, wait. Looks like he is going with Falco this time. All right. One thing Falco's good at is constant disruption because of lasers. So of course. Since, since the melee days, it's, that's been his calling card. Since Sheik is going to be constant disruption with needles, uh, I think Falco wins that trade. But yeah. She can go in on Falco, that's a problem. Because of his weight, his fat fall speed. Oh yeah, right, the F tilts keep him keep him locked in for pretty long. Oh my goodness. Milkman, Milkman again. He see, is. I, see what Milkman's not remembering? I don't see I don't know if Milkman's a brawl player. I don't think he is. Right, not, he was trying to climb up the stage and he yeah, can't do that here. What right? he's not remembering is he could have just hit Cheek and he would have auto grabbed the ledge. It's not melee. You will yeah, auto grab yeah. that ledge. Yeah. So I think he's just thinking that he has to do things the hard way, and he's dying for it because he doesn't know the physics. When no, recovery is pretty straightforward in this game. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. Oh, uh, never mind. Snake barely survives off that F smash. Oh, he almost snagged him there. If he up tilts Lucario, I think Lucario's dead. But Lucario now can kill with anything because he's so high. Right, charges up the Shadow Ball. All right, this is bad. This is this Gets is going him. to set two. Yeah, it's looking like it. They're definitely on track. They're already 
Oh, uh, the set count you guys see up there is, isn't right. It's 2-1 to Ripple and D-Disciple right now. Yeah. Oh, there goes Lucario's first stock. Chillin' Dude has been trying to snipe him as much as he can. Oh, he manages to get Sheik. Oh, he's not going to manage to kill the... Oh, no! Uh, he Disciple edgehogging his own teammate It's after he uh, managed to save him. Uh, it's bad, but it's not that bad because there's such high percent. It's not like a. It's not right. like he got gifted by his team or anything. It's, yeah. It, they're still way in the lead. Yeah, they still they still have the lead, which is why the, you know, that didn't matter as oh, much as it could have. Oh, oh, no! Oh, oh, I missed the down air. I do it. Or he yeah, or just input it uh, incorrectly that one time. But that was key in this match to coming back. Oh, he just whiffs a forward smash. Oh. Ripple putting in some work. Oh, there goes Falco. Really good stuff by Ripple and D-Disciple right now. Oh. Looking really good. Oh, that was a good wall, wall hop by D-Disciple. Yeah, that was that, pretty smart. Get that up air. Oh, plants the mortar, hits him with the back air. Sorry for uh, yawning, guys. I'm not bored by the match. I just woke up recently. <laughs> uh, people have been sleeping like a max of five, six hours, maybe at this tournament since you know we yeah. fi we finish up at one and one or two the first night. And then we gotta like the streamers gotta be back here by like eight or something to start setting up. So yeah, fun times though. EG bootcamp oh, wow. working hard. Uh, uh, Snake almost took out uh, Lucario there. That would have been really good because. Uh, he almost took him out right when he got high percentage, which makes him yeah. completely useless. He'd been he'd been doing a really good job of that the previous matches, but right now, Disciple's living large, and he's he's managing to use all that high damage potential. Gets gets himself back in there. Ripple's on his last stock, but Chillin' Chillin' and Milkman are both a really high percent right now. I guess the throw. Ripple trying to follow see, up a little he, too see, melee like. I think the disciple should have shot Snake in the back right then when we were doing the down smash. He had a free hit on Snake and he chose to try to try to kill the character off stage. Which which in Brawl isn't doesn't doesn't seem like the best choice a lot of the time. Uh, in teams, no, because one, recovery is pretty good. Yeah. Like to the ledge. Getting on the stage is the hard part. You, you try to keep them off the stage. Uh, when they're on the ledge by covering their options, but uh, it's fairly easy to get back to the Dash to cancel up smash Especially takes it. No one's playing Meta Knight, so. Oh, yeah. Uh, he is banned for this tournament, isn't he? As far no as idea. I'm aware. I have no uh, idea. Actually, I'm pretty sure because uh, the good doctor who was playing last night, he mains Meta Knight, but he was told. Uh, they, were, they were told Meta Knight's banned for this tournament. Interesting. I, I, I don't know. We talked about it. Uh, Jayford and I, when we were on last night, we kind of talked about the ban feeling like. I feel like trying to fo force the community to un desaturate Meta Knight's presence is not the best idea. I feel like it, uh, just like what happened with Melee with a lot of people picking up new characters, I feel like the players are going to have to do it themselves. They can't be forced to do it through a rule set. I it's agree. But either way, that's that's the rule set Brawl, Brawl wants to roll with. That's what this tournament is going to run. And uh, now well, we start I mean, the second set. I mean, that's not really the rule set. Is, isn't that hasn't it been? Um, no. I'm that, pretty sure that's been that rule up. set. That rule set basically was uh, like that whole committee disbanded. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. Yeah. So that's like not even a factor in anyone's minds anymore. Like I run the locals of my region. We don't do Meta Knight bans. And you and you keep you keep Meta Knight in, right? Yeah, yeah. because. The main thing is everyone wanted to get revenge on Japan, and Japan has a lot of good Meta Knights, and it's like, you're not going to be able to do that if you don't know how to play against the character. Of course. So, it is what it is. It was, it was too late anyway, in my opinion. Like, if you were going to do it, you had to do it, it way it earlier. To, it needed to happen earlier. Yeah. So, so it's whatever. So, hopefully the rule sets from now on to, like, just, like, everybody just kind of comes back around. I'm, I'm... I think it's fair to say no double Meta Knight teams, because that team really uh, dominates. So Is no other team comes close, I think. Uh, I don't know. Let's uh, talk about the match. All right, all right, <laughs> fair, all right, fair enough. So, 
Sorry for the diversion there, guys. Well, it looks like uh, Chillin' Dude and Milkman are starting off a little better this time. Was that... Is this... Uh, yeah, this is set two. Yeah, so we've already can... started the second so set. So reset it. This is grand finals. Yeah. Grand finals finals. Whoever takes this best three out of five is going to be your... Yeah. Melee FC... Your Melee FC Brawl, <laughs> Brawl champions. champions. Gets him with that mule kick, puts the Kari off stage, tries to find the mortar on the platform, then pu puts the back air right behind it. Chillin' Dude has been really good at doing that, like, throughout the, all the sets he's played. And then he neutralizes his own teammate. Although, I, I think that was No Man's fault for running in. That could, yeah. And that's another thing, uh, they're, they're, you're, not as mobile in, like, you're not as mobile in this game, so positioning can't be running through each other. Like, no. one thing I notice about melee teams is that you can force a lot of stuff in certain situations where your teammate's there, even though, you're, even though your teammate's there, by hitting both of them and continuing a combo onto the opponent. Right. And killing him. Right. You can't do that in Brawl because you don't have combos like that. So when you hit someone and you hit your teammate, it's going to basically just end with your teammate at getting extra rack of damage for no reason. Yeah. Because you need your teammate to continue combos in teams in Brawl. So you need to both be hitting him back and forth. Chillin' dude, messing up his recovery. Air dodging near the ledge when he was on the Cypher. And ends up dying for it. And that's it for Milkman, too. Ripple and D Disciple have looked so dominant these past few matches. Ripple especially, after the, after the first match with DK, has just stepped it up in such a great fashion. He's been really good in this set. Well, like I said, I don't feel like we had a chance to see what he was doing because he just, he, he killed yeah, himself. He just self destructed three times, yeah. basically. I see Mil Ah, uh, I think... I think we're starting to see the signs that Milkman is more of a melee player if this character choice pans out. Because... Fox... Marth, Marth Falco Fox. Marth Falco Fox. Three, three of melee's big four. Well... In a, in a lot of, in some people's opinions, but anyway, right, chillin' dude asking some questions. The rule set does give you some time to actually, like a minute between each match, to counsel and co coach with whoever you want to coach with, talk to people, etc. He, he was asking which neutral had the lowest ceiling, because Fox up smash, Snake up tilt. That's that's the idea, but that's. I don't know. That's, I don't, Battlefield that's, is pretty low. Stadium, it I feels think. desperate yeah. <laughs> to ask that. It, it kind of does. It kind of does. But yeah. then again, they got to be desperate because they just lost four rounds in a row. They need to do something. Yeah. Well, Fox has the combo, com the tilt combo potential, like you know. Yeah, low percent to get off a few of those. Well, on Sheik, it, it's Sheik and Fox basically can do it to each other equally. Like, like oh, that. that Boy, there we go. That Fox can do to Sheik to a degree. Oh but my god. Obviously, Sheik has it more. Um, he's not trying to SDI either. You can SDI out of that. Like, okay. It's hard. It's one of the hardest things to SDI out of, but you can. Yeah, because it looks like Fox's weight is completely just not helping him with that situation at all. And it works on Falco too, am I right? Uh, yeah, it works on Squirtle too. Squirtle? Yeah. Okay. But Squirtle gets it on Sheik like worse because he has up tilt lock. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh. Lucario keeping control of the stage pretty well right now. Oh, oh that was good. the shine. That was very good. People forget like, it actually reflects like projectiles. If, like if you didn't see that, Snake actually rolled and was invincible right at the right time because he rolled through the shine aura ball and rolled right behind Lucario just in time before he became vulnerable again. Impressive was, teamwork. It's, I think it was very lucky. Well, <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm just saying that because that didn't seem coordinated. <laughs> it didn't seem like you it, but it's, it felt would, like something straight rolled, out of the Matrix. You would have rolled the other way if that was coordinated. You would have been like, like, watch this because if uh, Lucario <laughs> had spot dodged. Yeah. Well, we go, they're, they're already starting to look a wow. little better here. Oh, but Fox killing his teammate. Ugh. That's not good. That's However, uh, they're, they're even stocked with Lucario at a 97, so. I'm uh, surprised. I'm surprised that Fox. I'm surprised Fox isn't trying to shoot more lasers to keep his moves fresh. I see. The thing is, I don't. That's a brawl thing, so I don't, I don't yeah. think Milkman's thinking about that. Fair enough. See how he's, oh, he's wow, DIing he... out of it a little this time. 
Yeah, he, he, uh, he took 80% before he was even out. He wasn't yeah. trying to... SDI, that was definitely not much S SDI. SDI is a very uh, visceral DI. Like, you, you oh! Are... Chillin' dude, just power shielding everything as he just bulldozes right Ooh, through dude. both of them. That's what, All snake, should, that's what snake should be doing. Don't uh, air dodge. You cannot air dodge as a DI mechanism in this game. It doesn't help you. D Disciple landing a few F smashes. One of them against his own teammate, but so far no kills off any of that. Still pretty even. Oh, that was a waste of up tilt. Now it's going to be weaker. Yeah, see. There it uh, goes. Oh, but right. he snags Zicario and he. Oh, he killed his own teammate again. Uh, also, now that I'm looking at it, um, they actually. You know how court priority works in this game? Uh, I believe so. You're supposed uh, to be doing. Right by me. You're supposed to have first and fourth slot, and second and third slot. They have first and second slot and third and fourth slot, which is not the proper way you're supposed to lay out your controllers. Oh. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I remember that in the overall rule sets now. It looks like we're still running a pretty even match here, apart from Milkman's Fox being at a really high percent. At least for Fox, because Fox is even lighter than he is in melee in this I think, game. I think Snake really needs to just keep uh, them off of Fox, and they'll be fine. So I just can't. Chillin's doing a great job right now protecting his teammate and just keeping that space open. He needs it. Like, if he's going to Edgard, he needs to be taking the high options. If they're not, they need to be 2v1 in the guy yeah. on stage. Like, yeah. they're just not taking the opportunities. And that's something that isn't specific to Brawl. It's something they should know as Smash players. Yeah. That's why I'm like, what's... Yeah. Oh, he gets that... That one up smash that they wanted all match. He finally got it. D Disciples out of there. Let's see if Rip can bring this back, though. That was horrible. Yeah, that should not have killed. Wow, that, yeah, he could have he could have lived, right? He could have lived, right? lived and not eaten. Yeah, he could have. Yeah. Definitely could have survived that throw. We are going to put up the retrospective. Excuse me, guys. All right, so we got one, one, no. one, one, right? Yeah, one, Second one set. in this grand final set. All right, chilling, deal with Milkman saying, "Hey, we're not going down like that." It's well, it, it's good that he finally kind of shored it up because although the fact that he killed his own teammate twice was making it look really bleak for them, but he finally got the important kill on D Disciple when when Disciple was starting to get into a bit of a rhythm with his Lucario. So hopefully. Hopefully this sparks a bit of a fight back from them. Uh, I think, Rip, I think they can. I wonder what. Uh, I really wonder what D Disciple and Rip are thinking about. Only because um, they got countered to Battlefield, even though it's not really a real counter. Uh, they've been winning so many matches. I would have just been like, let's go back to Battlefield or even anywhere we've won already. Like, there really isn't much to think about, in my opinion, because their momentum has been four matches long prior to the last match. Right. They really shouldn't. And the overthinking this, that's a bad sign of what their mental state is. In okay, opinion. yeah, I hear you. If they're overthinking it, then I feel like they're scared now, which they shouldn't be. That's yeah. one game. But You think? It looks like they're hovering over Stadium 2 on Lilac Cruise. Those two stages are looking like what they're thinking about right now. Lilac Cruise, in my opinion, is because the ceiling's really, really high. So it oh, kind of yeah. counters what they just... Oh, they went to Stadium 2. Do. Stadium 2 is a horrible idea, in my opinion, because... Why is that? It's just a wonky stage. Like, shenanigans are going to happen. All oh, right, the wind and yeah, the, all like, the crazy stuff like, is going to... They've been winning with solid, solidly outplaying their teammate. To now say, let's rely on shenanigans, could backfire in, uh, you know, not in their favor horribly. Also, the wind part is really good for air momentum, but just remember that Fox can down B to cancel air momentum, so he has the best... Uh, maneuverability in that part. Oh, so he's able to keep himself low to the ground if he wants. He's yeah. able to go up high if he wants. All yeah. right. Sheik, I think, apparently has some stuff here because I know I know Judo went to this stage, countered to this stage against some character. So it might be because of Ripple wanted to go here. Okay. All right, we're getting our first transformation. This is dirt transformation. <laughs> uh, uh, shame Duck Trio doesn't do anything. All right, Lucari has that forward oh, smash. It. Oh, catches him on that air dodge. Good stuff by Dude Disciple. Chilling. Oh, wow. He got hit off the wall he the had first an, time. He had an invincible teammate, and his teammate just didn't help him. Milkman has been playing a pretty suspect. Oh, wow. Today. Oh, oh, that up nailed him. 
He's been pulling his weight in kills. Beyond that, he he has not been playing the team's game very well here. Maybe that's all Chillin wants him to do. Maybe just like sit back, let me <laughs> let me do what I can. Oh, well, it it hasn't been working out see too bad Chillin, for see them. See what Chillin just did there though? He interrupted the uh, the four tilt lock so that he couldn't just get it to like 80 or 90 like he did last time. He had to stop around 50. Which is good teamwork. That's the oh wow, D Disciple trying Ooh. to not get hit by the up smash, but that wasn't really a big deal. Just eat it and get back on yeah. stage. Yeah, if he, he can DI himself back from the hit. It wasn't gonna kill him for yeah. sure. So oh, yeah. that was that was fear taking a little too much toll on his decision making. Uh, it cost him a pretty easy stock, and now it's not looking very good for him. But here's the thing, though. Now he's one stock lower than everyone else, uh, or lower than other teams. He's going to have that ridiculous strength. He just messed up the ledge guard, but Ooh. oh, nice, oh, nice save! Great by Rip. save by Ripple. Nice save so by Rip. aware. And good kill on the snake. This could easily turn out in a uh, blue team's favor. So. We've got, we've got the ice formation. Would the, does this help with dash attack cancel up smashes? If she it does makes that, slide just farther. okay. See. Oh, there goes Fox. He just did it across the whole stage. Save this, this has the same effect on Squirtles. Yeah, Milk, <laughs> Milkman is definitely playing melee. He up throws and everything. Oh, he trips on the ice. Sheik Lucario, almost dying Lucario there. Mario could actually probably throw aura balls as long as he's keeping it. Wow. Uh, and this, oh, time no. Chillin do, this time Chillin' Dude letting it happen. He probably felt like he could get the kill on D Disciple uh, while that was going on, but it oh, didn't, he didn't manage it. Face, though. This That's is a like really a tight match right now. Oh, Snake is off stage. This, I'm really scared scared for the red team. I feel like the blue team's spacing. They're, they're spacing things correctly to trap one player. Oh, oh gets the up tilt, gets, though. D Disciple's out of there. That was really good spacing because Lucario has a really far roll. But what Lucario did manage to do is get these two characters to kill range. So Rip can bring this back, and he's doing oh, it. Oh, catches another oh, roll with that. I'm chillin', chillin chillin dude chillin dude gets up, up, pumps his fist. Chillin he stands is up. in victory. He feels he's in the zone right and now. And he said yes. If he's feeling like a big boss. He, wow. That, that was such good, like, fundamental smash play on his part. Just really good reads. That's got to uh, be a little... Um, a little bit of a downer for the blue team because that was their counter pick and they yep. lost to it. So, like I said, you can't rely on shenanigans. You got to rely on solid play. Yeah. Leave Which, it to a Donkey Kong player to want shenanigans. Well, I mean, the oh wow, that was that was really dangerous. But uh, what I was gonna say is that was that was bad for them, even though the blue team at the end was starting to like show some strong fundamental two v one. Oh, uh, it's. <laughs> Uh, so it is 2-1 for Milkman and Chillin' Dude now. They are at tournament point. Uh, gets that up smash, but Sheik barely survives it. I, I don't know. I would think Chillin' would at least know about refreshing the moves that he should have told Milkman, but... Well, I mean, some characters... You, you don't really worry about refreshing moves as a number one priority. Well, uh, I, especially I, early set. At least, w at least within their game plan, though, because that I feel that that up smash could have killed that he hit cheek with earlier. You, you, people, you die at a lot higher percents in this game, though. Right, no, that. I've definitely seen up smash kill at that percent before. Around a hundred from Fox, like full, full power against cheek. It depends on the uh, weight. Come to think of it, cheek, yeah. Yeah, it depends on it depends on the weight of the character and the di of the player. Okay, fair, fair enough. Uh, Milkman is looks like he's starting to settle into a bit of a stride here. Like starting to feel a bit more comfortable with this uh, wider stage. And then he just didn't recover. I think he's figuring out his role a little better. All right, nice up smash there. He's gonna, just gets rid of the disciples first stock. Gets rid of the danger. Children's taking a lot of damage right now. He wants to kind of shore himself up. Oh, well, he gets. Uh, he gets hit by the up smash, but it wasn't really his fault at that point. Spot dodge, forward tilt, mortar slide, good stuff by Chillin' Dude. Oh, wow! Oh, no! The Disciple just destroyed.
destroyed him right there. That was very beautiful. That chilling dude, sadly, did, didn't help the situation by staying on the ledge when his teammate was recovering. I think he just stayed on a little too long because he yeah. thought he could edge guard the disciple and uh, get off in time to uh, save his teammate, but he ended up not ledge guarding the disciple yeah. and his teammate died. Uh, so. Here he goes. Th that's what Chillin has been doing well all set. He has snagged the disciple with those up tilts at all the right times, every single time. Good, good stuff from uh, uh, Chillin, dude, just basically punishing recoveries. Chilling slowly getting in against those needles. Oh, blocks that F smash just in time. There we go. See, 2v1 right there. That, that, that was a good pressure. That's the way to do it. Especially with Milkman being on his last stock. Yes, they they want this. They, they think, would prefer, I, I feel, if not. I think Chillin should just keep his stock, to be honest. I think he could pull a 2v1 comeback by zoning as long as he doesn't die too soon. Up. Right, right on there, commentator's curse. Oh, it's all on chilling now. Granted, they would still they have another to, chance, but... They're trying to do a grab release infinite, but um, he broke out between the uh, pummel, so it didn't work. Bunch of explosives <laughs> thrown around the stage. I'll guess that neutral air. He's got Lucario high, though, so it's like... If he can kill Lucario, he might be able to do 1v1 rip. And that's probably going to be his focus. And I would imagine Ripple is going to try to cut him off at the pass every time at that. What he's going to do is he's going to... Well, that works. Got him! Again. You can't just throw... See, you can't just hit people's shields in this game. It's very defensive. Oh, there yeah. A shield hit stun. Yeah, shield, shield drops are just really fast also, like beyond that. Rip, Cypher's his way Rip back up. Rip isn't, uh, you know... Rip isn't out of this. See, he no. can still win this match. Yeah, he's still, he's still he got He really this. needs to stop air dodging when he gets hit. Like, I don't know if that's what that is about. If that's a melee thing. Oh, trips. Like, that could have been re really bad for chilling. Getting him with all the frame traps, though. Air dodge this. Yeah, You're going to eat that. He needs to be pulling out grenades. He's if he had been pulling out grenades... Uh, he could air dodge, and when um, and when she gets him, the grenade explodes. Yeah, so there's no frame trap. All right. Uh, good, st good stuff by Ripple catching him on all those air dodges with the, with the up smash. Uh, Apostle giving Chillin some advice, exactly what he was just saying. Well, Chillin's from my region, so. Ah, uh, fair enough. So I'm gonna help him out. If he loses, I won't be heartbroken. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't play Brawl, so he's not like the Brawl representative uh, for my region or anything. Uh, uh, but would you say he's the Project M representative? He, he's been came, to, he came to one thing, so I, I guess he's into Project M. I'd say that. He is playing that. He's, uh, Jay Caesar is really the main one, though, since he's from our region, too. So it's okay. like, you know, Jay Caesar and Project you, M go hand in hand. You think Jay Caesar is the favorite? Uh. Well, I, as not I, when I say representative, I don't mean as a player, but he is a really good player. I just don't know who's better. I can't really make that judgment. Okay. Because uh, definitely when we were watching yesterday, I saw uh, people that were catching my eye. Uh, Axe was looking really good, even though he wasn't really utilizing a lot of the stuff that's specific to the game. He was still looking really strong. Chillin was looking really good with his wolf. Yeah, that's Chillin's actually played Project M, and obviously you could tell because he's playing a character that's not from Melee. Yeah. And it's not his main from Melee. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, he actually does All know right. what he's doing in that game. All right. All right, here we go. This is it, guys. This Final is game. game. This is, this is going to decide your Brawl champions right here. Something tells me, and I don't know why, I just feel like... This match is going to be one-sided, whoever beat, wins this one. After was, all the after all the going to the last hit, for some reason, I just feel like this match is going to be huge, like Huge anti-climax? Yeah, I, I don't know why. Hopefully, I'll commentator curse that, and it will be very <laughs> exciting. We see right. Marth back in the yeah, game. Yeah, Mil Milkman apparently not feeling the fox. Maybe he's just hoping that if he switches it up enough, he can still stay a little ahead of them. And they're not really reading his play style. All right, but he can't just keep hitting their shields with F smashes the way he started out this match. He should be uh, been a little sloppy. He should be doing his um, sword dance on oh, the shield. All right, there goes there goes Ripple's first stock. Nice work there, forces 
Milkman forcing the roll. Chillin' Dude catching, catching him yeah. with the F-Tilt. Chillin' Dude was just aware of that being a possibility, so he yeah. was ready. That's why he uh, paused after one tilt and then, like, waited for the roll and then tilted the other way. All right. It's very smart and shows player yeah. awareness. They're right there, see? He's, Especially, yeah. He set up the grenade so he, so he couldn't just get up there. So he had to roll, and he was there to grab him. Unfortunately, uh, the car, his teammate was there to... Yeah, that, Ribble's been really good at just get, yeah getting in there with that deck is up smash. Uh, that, that if you part, saw that Lucario, that. I think you just saw that Lucario to use counter. Counter is a very Lucario's counter is very uh, bad. It's, yeah, it's I've hard, seen. It's hard for that to actually hit. It's just the way the move was made was you hit him, he disappears, and by the time he's hitting you, you usually have t uh, time to shield it, which is really yeah. bad. Uh, Chilling. Dominating the ledge right now. Just getting in a lot of damage, a lot of hits. They're 2v1ing the Disciple right now. Ripple goes in, sa saves the day, and starts setting up a needle shield in front of the Disciple. Now he's got chilling near the ledge. Oh, the Disciple's off the stage. He got hit by a, a tipper, it looks like. There goes Ripple's stock. The blue team is definitely the, starting the to fall behind. Stuck there. Oh. He tried to hit him with a CQC. It didn't quite work out. All right, they're trying to set up again back there. Oh, there oh, you what go. The? But it, it bounced off his shield. Oh, okay. But, but uh, you don't you don't reflect in this game. And they just bounce off. The projectiles will bounce off randomly. All I don't right. know if Marth could have been hit by that, but I'm pretty sure since he bounced off Snake's shield, he couldn't get hit by it. Snake loses the stock to a Lucario up smash. Looking like a pretty even match right now. Wonder, wonder if Chillin is fishing for oh, get, no. getting the Disciple again. Milkman stock! He, oh, he could have stalled easily with Lord B. He just got baited. That's, that is the kind of stuff that he's that he had been doing. That he finally managed to avoid doing this whole set. But all if this you whole look match. at the percentage of blue team. Yeah, this uh, is, they this both is still could close. die and it could be a 2v1, which then it would be over. Oh no, but Marth could die and then it could be a 2v1 for Snake. Milkman really needs to be careful right now. Right, I would assume they'd want to get Milkman because the 2v1 with Snake I would think is a lot harder than 2v1 with Marth. It doesn't matter. I mean, I mean, granted, I'm just, uh, if they had to pick an option. I think they want to kill Chillin. Chillin's been the anchor. That is, that is true. Just have there to, oh, go. nice teamwork! Let's get Lucario out of there. Ah, oh, barely survives it. He's throwing those tilts in there. He shouldn't have rolled back from the ledge. He should have stayed there and then have Marth guard him so that he could up tilt Lucario when he tried to get up. Oh, he gets his up tilt shielded. Lucario puts him off stage. That's nope. it for Snake. That's it for Snake. It's not looking good. It's all, it's all on Milk, Milkman, and I, I don't see him pulling this off without chilling, anchoring. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't know though. Gets him with a downer, but gets snagged by the forward smash. Right, D, D Disciple and Ripple. Ripple. Take it. Bringing it back all the way from losers to a four a four game win streak to reset the bracket. And they were they were down at tournament point and managed to bring it back to be crowned your brawl champions. Good stuff good stuff to them. Chillin' dude looking really salty uh, right now. He's he's mumbling under his breath. Say, all sorts of things. No, I'm just kidding. Stream? He's fine with it. I think, I think I the wish, Disciples got a few words for you. I wish more Brawl players came out. This was still fun. Like, there were still some good players, yeah. obviously. I don't know why Brawlers didn't come out. It's just support the community. I used to play this game, and I lost. <laughs> right. A few thoughts from the Disciple there. Um, I mean, we kind of talk, talked Ripple about this. Disciple. The tournament is called Melee FC. Yay. That might have been the well, issue. Regardless, the I mean, problem, I think the problem yay. was is the way registration worked. You couldn't, There was, it was kind of, uh, confusing as to the venue fee and what was going, what, what percentage uh, was going to go to the brawl pot, etc. And oh, like, oh, okay. I feel like they just thought um, a lot of people didn't feel like it was a straight up this many people enter, this how much money goes into it. So it just feel felt weird. I think it turned out that it was straightforward, but. I don't know. It, it was still confusing. I still don't even know really how how it ended up turning out. But right. I thought um, it was going to be something like brawl count as a side event, everything but melee was a side event, and the side events were going to split 
some kind of money from the venue fees of everyone. Something like that. That's what I originally thought it was going to be. But, but as it turned out, it looks like Project M is basically a, a main event at this well, at the tournament. Basically, but they they still had to calculate based off of venue fee what Project M was making. Oh, of course. But Project M is going to make uh, the proportion to the amount of people who entered. It's not like Brawl and Project M are going to be equal. 